we can see that the height of this sofa is 88 and a half centimeters. So if I go to create box, I'm just going to click and drag to create this. And we can see our dimensions here. So in height, I'm just going to type in 8.5 centimeters. And this is how high our sofa is in the real world and therefore as well in our viewport. So we can plug in these details. So we've got width of three meters, 17 centimeters, and the depth is 156 centimeters. So what we see in here is the overall size of our sofa, including the L, this bit that sticks out, so it would kind of come in here. And we can see we've got these other dimensions, um, and I'm actually gonna create some reference boxes so we get the seat in height. So let's just click and drag to create another box. And let's make that height 41.5. And I'll create another box. Make that one 61.5. And that's going to be the armrest height. And then the legs. Let's create another box. And this one's only going to be three and a half centimeters high. And you can click and drag to select these four edges, or you can just select one and use ring, and it's going to select all the adjacent edges. And now we're going to use our first tool in the edit poly, and that's connect. And you'll see that all of them edges that we had selected have now been connected by another set of edges. And I'm going to use, we've still got snaps on, and I'm just going to pull that to the top of our sofa seat. Now we can do the same with our reference box. We can turn frozen in gray off. And then if we freeze it, it's going to be there, but it's kind of obscuring our reference image. So there is a way around that. So let's just unfreeze it for the moment. We're going to need to freeze our reference plane. I'm going to select it. I'm going to press M to open up our material editor. And again, I'm just going to create a standard material. And I'm going to apply that to our box using the sign to selection. I'm just going to press Alt X in the viewport so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to turn on wire, and you'll see now we can see just the wireframe of our reference box. But we don't really want to see the triangles as well. So to hide them triangles, we can just change this opacity to zero. And you can right click on any spinner anywhere in 3ds Max, and it will take it to its lowest value. So I've right clicked on opacity, and it's gone to zero. And now we can just see our wireframe. So now if I select it, I'm going to change the color to gray, and then I'm going to freeze that selection. So now we have a reference box with the mass of our sofa, and it's unselectable, so we can kind of build over it, but it's just nice to have this volume reference.